Maddie Veneers knows this ice well, and you know a lot of these guys well. You guys, you grind out here. What's this group like, and what have these skates been like this summer? Yeah, I mean, um, it's been a lot of fun. I've been here, I've been here for about a month and a half. A lot of guys have been here a little bit longer, but yeah, I mean, we're all out here trying to get better, and we love to compete, have fun. Um, you know, we do a lot of skill stuff, but also a lot of games, so we kind of get into it, and everyone's com everyone's a competitor out here, so uh, it's been fun. Not a lot of people have worn that uniform, but what you did in it in such a short amount of time, Maddie, uh, how cool was it to make your NHL debut and to make the impact that you did? Yeah, I mean, it was <laughs> it was great. I was I I would say I wasn't really expecting it. Um, you know, it was it was a lot of fun, and uh, I was played with some pretty good players, so that made it a little bit easier. And all the guys in the team were really nice, so uh, having that smooth transition, I think, really helped. And you know, had some going for me, so that was pretty nice and uh, felt good, but. Um, definitely going to be harder next year and be excited to see how it goes. How tough was it just to end the, the college season the way that it did? Because you had that group that wanted to come back and I know you guys got close. How difficult was it? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it was definitely sad. Um, you know, figuring out what you're going to do next after, you know, you lose. You're in the Frozen Four, then you lose, and now you're like, all right, what am I going to do? you got to make a kind of a split decision. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was. It was definitely a tough ending. We wanted to win, and uh, I think everyone kind of gathered themselves after. And um, you know, for me, it was the best thing was to leave. And I think obviously the other guys that left it was the right thing for them too. So um, yeah, it was it was definitely sad and emotional. But once you kind of you kind of got over the hump, and you're like, all right, I gotta you know move on to the next thing. So yeah. What can you get out of workouts like this? Working against a guy with so much skill like Trevor Zegers, a guy plays your position like Dylan Larkin, who has a little bit more strength, a little bit more years under his belt. What can you get out of skates like this? Yeah, I mean, it, that's such a big thing with skates like these in the summer. You know, you're playing against really good players that play your position. Uh, you know, Larks and Z, I mean, two different players, but they're both so good. Um, you know, Z has so much skill all over the ice, so much creativity, and uh, Larks, you know, also so much skill, but also, you know, good at defensively. And, you know, just watching, picking up little things that they do, like, you know, when they shoot, getting open, finding space for themselves, like so many little things that all these guys do that make them elite players. So it's just trying to pick those up and try to put them into your game a little bit. I can't help but think 2026 Olympics come around. <laughs> that picture you guys just took on the ice, is that a flashback, flash forward type of <laughs> moment there? I don't know. That would be great. Uh, yeah, that would be fantastic. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I hope so. Uh, but I think, I, did, I mean, Definitely some of these guys would be there, and I know that for a fact, so. All right, buddy, good luck this yeah. evening. Thank you. See ya. Thanks, man.